welcome to the Kent Plantation House. My name is Rachel and I'm a docent here and right beside me we have our bottle tree. Probably many of you local Louisianans have seen a bottle tree before, but you probably actually don't know its history or where it came from. It's actually a superstition that was brought over by the African enslaved from the West Africa region, which consists of about 16 different countries. And for many of our guests that have come from these different countries have actually told us in some places this superstition is still continued on today. Now, for the uh, enslaved from these areas, they believed if you were having a bad day, it was because an evil spirit is following you around. They are literally wearing you down physically, your shoulders are starting to hurt, maybe your back's hurting, you're getting a terrible headache, maybe you start coughing. This is because that evil spirit is wearing you down physically, mentally, and emotionally, so they can eventually possess your body. So in order to counteract this, they would hang bottles on the trees. They would either hang them on the branches straight like this, or they would take string and tie it around the top and then hook it to, of course, another tree branch. If you've ever seen Disney, uh, the Disney movie Princess and the Frog, when they go visit Mama Oti, the voodoo lady inside the swamp, she has a bottle tree in one of her uh, scenes where she's singing. But they would hang these on the trees around the slave quarters or along the walkways to the field. So hopefully as they are walking around, these uh, spirits get sucked inside the bottle. Now once they've captured a spirit, the bottle will either shake and make noise without the wind being nearby, meaning there was a spirit inside. They would have either clogged it up with a piece of cotton or cloth here at the top, or they would leave it out in the sun to dry up the spirit. Now the plantation owners would see these all within the quarters, and of course they're the ones that are supplying the bottles to the enslaved there. But they started taking their nice beautiful blue bottles or their yellow bottles and putting them in their front partier gardens. And it slowly turned into sun catchers and then eventually into the yard art we know today.